Hey, we're here with Drew Viedenhop from Night Force Optics talking optics. Drew, when people walk into a store, what should they be looking for? There's a lot of different things to look at. The first one is going to be configuration. So you'll notice whenever you see a scope like this Night Force ATEC R, there are some numbers associated with it. This particular one is a 5 to 25 by 56 F1. Okay. Usually the first number is the lowest magnification, the second number is the highest. So bottom's out at 5 goes up to 25 power. That means it magnifies the image that much. Okay. The 56 is the size of the objective lens in millimeters. When they're trying to match a scope to the use, is there a, is there a suggestion? Maybe just magnification. Sure. A lot of folks are looking for magnification. Generally, consumers think more is better. It's not always true. Okay. You have to balance magnification with field of view. And in terms of the distance you'd be shooting, you'd want to think about the top number of magnification and how that relates to shooting a distance. So somebody would say, I'm going to hunt with a rifle and I want a scope for it. 5 to 25 is very capable, but it's probably a little bit of overkill for most deer hunters. Right. So I might look for something a little bit smaller at 2 to 10, a 4 to 14 or 4 to 16, something like that that gives me a good field of view, but just enough magnification to do what I need to do. Most hunters aren't going to be shooting out to a thousand yards and in a bigger, you know, more magnification generally is going to be a bigger scope, a little more weight. Exactly. Okay. And it's it's overkill for a lot of purposes. Okay. So just a couple tips for you when you're shopping for scopes from Night Force.